Let's take a look at a few questions about the heat transfer process. Firstly, it's about the baked Alaska. It is made of some ice cream inside and covered with the egg white with air bubbles. And on the top, we will put some wine and get it burned outside. So why it can be prevents the ice cream from melting? Actually, because a lot of air trapped it inside the egg white and also the sponge cake, so that it formed a very good heat insulation. And it is an example to show how the food can use the idea of heat transfer to form some good heat insulation. And the other examples here is about the feelings of cold and warm when the feet is touched on the tile floor compared with the go on the carpet. So the tile is not a better insulator of heat than the carpet, and it's not all about the temperature difference between the tile and the carpet because in the same room they should have the same temperature. So、uh, heat capacity seems not related, and the issue is the energy transfer. This is the main reason for us to feel cold and warm in many situations. And the last examples here is to explain why and how the cotton quits to be lost its ability to keep us warm, because when it's used for a long time, the amount of air inside will be decreased. So there is not enough air to be trapped inside as the heat insulation. So in this case, the ability for the cotton quits. To keep us warm, we will decrease in this case. Then, what can we do in order to make it keep us warm again? So the core idea is we need more air to trap the inside. So one way is to inject the air into the cotton quilt so that it can form the layer of heat insulation in that case. 